Okay, this will be a nice one, hopefully. Right. I wonder how big. Gonna make it 141.4. Ah, oh, right. Just a little bit of contrast. Let's see what we've got. We've got here a book, The Art of Fairy. Interesting, nice looking picture. Interesting uh, picture. It's very evocative. Very, a lot of people believe in fairies and shit like that. I don't believe in fairies, but I must say it's a, it's a beautiful uh, illustration in itself. Very nice uh, fantasy sort of an image. Sometimes we need a bit of break from reality in this money-driven world. So reading a book about fairies and seeing, looking at pictures could be classified as therapeutic. <laughs> Something to believe in, maybe. I don't know. But it's a nice-looking picture, and I thought it would lend itself well to this. No, oh, we've actually got the the writing on the page, which we don't want. <laughs> but it's a nice picture nonetheless. Uh, we're going to try and get rid of that writing as much as we can. Uh, just slide the image, the book down a fair amount. The Art of Fairy. Yeah, a lot of people just want to escape from this world and it's understandable why people often believe in things like fairies and guardian angels and shit like that or whatever. They believe in, they want to find some hope and that's their way of extending their hand out trying to find some hope is by believing in stuff like this. Anyway, that's, we got to enlarge it bigger but basically... Yeah, a lot of people just want to escape and it's understandable why they just want to get out of this fucked up real world. And I don't believe in angels. Oh yes, I do believe in angels, but I don't worship angels, to be honest, folks. But I do believe they exist and have a place. Uh... But basically, yeah, it's it's a terrible, fucked up world we live in. And we need some kind of release from it. We do, we need to run away from it sometimes. Otherwise, we just go mad. <laughs> There's a lot of stress in this world. To do with work and and things needing to be done and all oh, just the, the same grind grind of the capitalist world and their money fucking money making ways and it drives people mad having to deal with all this shit instead of having a life that's worth something that has value there's no value in this world. It's all about the, the love of money and trying to rip people off to make ends meet. Uh, so, I don't know what to do about it, folks. Now, I'm going to move this up a little bit and maybe, uh, maybe across. We're just going to move it up slightly and I'm going to move it across. But, yeah, we do need to somehow think outside the world we live in, folks, uh, to try and escape from this shit and find a viable way of, of living and surviving. You know, if the world wasn't so full of greedy people, well, we would have a much better, more fairer planet. And we would just 
things would be a lot easier. But we don't have that. And what do we do to stop these evil, conniving people from taking over our lives completely? Uh, how do we fucking, you know, deal with that? How do we get rid of this money-fucked attitude that we have in this world? Why, you know, maybe if reality was less stressful, we wouldn't re rely so much on fantasy and dr daydreaming. You know, we've got a daydream now. It's a way of surviving, you know? We all know fairies don't exist, but... People are trying their best to survive. Now, I'm wondering where the real centre of this job should really be. I'm actually thinking it's there. But basically, fantasy is a way of surviving. And what else can we do but to dream of a better world, a better realm, a place where life doesn't suck, a place where you can live, a live, a place to actually live and and not just live but enjoy and to believe in 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 a world where there's no hatred or no trouble you know where people can be treated fairly where people uh can enjoy their existence forever forever and ever they think think eternity an eternity without worries about money or about your mortgage or about your car loan how much, how, how would a world without these worries actually look? I know that in this world we can't have a perfect world. Um, there'll always be problems in this world, but we could sure make it a better place if, if we as a human race would stop being so selfish and, and getting too entangled in the love of money and, and all that it entails. But we've got powerful people who, who are resisting change, who don't want to change. And they're the ones that have got the ability to change things, but they choose not to. They're stiff and stuffy and stubborn and selfish. And they are ru ruining lives of innocent people. Freedom does not exist anymore. Really, it doesn't. It's all slavery. Slave wages and bondage to the master... The fucking rich people. Now this is really difficult one, folks. This is a bit too curly for my liking. But you get what I'm trying to say. No wonder people want to believe in fucking fairies, folks. It's a lot nicer kind of a world that they seem to exist in if they do exist. Uh, fairies. Uh, we need something alternative to this money fucked existence yeah it's money fucking folks and it, it leads to brain fucking and other kinds of fucking it's not acceptable folks so we have to fucking find a way of escaping it sorry about the curlies but it doesn't look too bad actually but you know we've got to fucking find a way to make this world a better place so we don't get stuck in fairyland. Anyway, enough of that. I think I've got to go.